one of my kids go, listen to the squirrel. And I'm like, squirrels don't make noise. He goes, no, they make noise. I go, Tommy, they don't make noise. Now stop it. And then I was alone one day and I'm like, what is that noise? And somebody says, it's a squirrel. And I'm like, oh God, I gotta go apologize to a five-year-old. <laughs> <laughs> it is because see, they're more in tune to hearing what we already take for granted. Even That's the wind it. blowing through the trees. Your brain knows how to eliminate sounds. Mine doesn't. I take like music. The lyrics and the music becomes one sound. I can't separate the words and the music to know what the lyrics of the song is. But you, you, people who have hearing, they know how to take out the background noise and focus on what's here. Their brain knows how to do that. My kids, we teach them to listen. And in teaching them to listen, they now are learning to use that, met that method of letting go of sounds that's not necessary in that moment. But there is so many incredible sounds, and it's the same thing with our eyes. Too many people today have to let go of some voices and sounds of <laughs> what they're hearing today. <laughs> they're trying to send the wrong message. Yeah. But it's true. It's, um, you did a beautiful rendition of Somewhere Over the Rainbow. Oh. And that's what inspires people is because we're like, that was right on pitch. You want to give us a little bit of it? Oh, Jesus. Come on, come on. I know I put you on the spot. I you, guys, know. you guys really want but to But listen, it? listen. Yes, they do. You do, you do, you do, you do. Right in. Uh, <laughs> go ahead. Uh, somewhere over the rainbow, way up high, In a lullaby. Wow. Thank you. Wow. Thank you, Thank you very much. That's, I could hear, and I could, somewhere, people would be like throwing stuff at me right now. Oh, well, give me some. <laughs> yeah, your cup right there. <laughs>